Hey everybody, it's Eric Johnson from Entertain Throws Nation. In today's video, what we're gonna do is mix it up a little bit. We're talking about details, and in this video, we just had the camera rolling a few months back in one of our practices, and we were inside the gym, and we were talking about how important it is that details improve the output of what you're doing in your training session. So we're big on that. That's a big thing behind the throwing chain reaction system. So inside the weight room, how can we get more work out of what we're doing? We gotta be more efficient and the details matter. So check out this video. Sterling, it's core tight, good posture. Feel the core engaged so it's all hammy. Tighter, tighter. into it, right? You have to feel that it's harder, it's more work, it takes more energy to hold the right positions. That's throwing too. Okay, let's go. Tight, keep your feet together. Pull the knees closer a little bit more. There, that's it. Now you're working, good work. Just a little angle change and now we're getting how much, much more work out of one thing, right? Just, yeah, exactly. Hold it together, feet together. Let's go. There we go. Yes, much harder. Come on, keep it tight, keep it tight. Pull those knees up. Yep, yep. Come on, come on. Oh, you can see you're weaker to this side. Let's go. Tight, 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 tight. Keep it tight. Oh, you lost it. Keep it this way. Come on. Oh, bring your feet, bring your feet. This way, this way, this way. There we go, come on. Yep, yep. That's it. Details, bro. That's the key. Let's go. Get it up there. Keep it tight. Tight, 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 tight. Don't let your leg flare out. Control. Keep it all on that hamstring. Let's go. Feel what I'm talking about? Yeah. You got to get more out of the, out of your time, right? Yeah. If I got to do 10 reps, I want to do 10 freaking. Yeah reps, not sloppy reps. Okay. Sterling, keep those knees. It's all about the legs in the right position. Ah, 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 ah. Keep your knees pulled in tight, tighter. Straighten the legs a little bit more. So right here, this is where the knees should be. Okay. Bend them slightly right there. So when you pull, it's all trunk. You feel the difference? Oh, yeah. Yes, there, that's the slight angle change, massive difference. Let's go, there we go. Pull the knees in, keep it tight as you come to the bottom, keep the legs pulling this way towards the bottom, keep them pulled in towards the bottom. There we go, much more core engagement that way. There we go, that's what I wanna hear. Pull it in, keep it tight. Pull it in, pull it in, pull it in, pull it in. Yep. There we go. Good. I feel it in my core. Well, you can feel it more in your core if you did it right. Come on, yeah. Get your ass moving. That's your problem in your throw. Get your shoulders forward. Look at that. You're twisting your shoulders. You still got too much of this. Like some kind of freaking. Some like it. Yeah, exactly. Angle, longer step, mm, longer step. So all the weight's forward. You got too much weight evenly distributed. There, let's go. Longer, longer, nope, Jesus. Longer, bigger step. You gotta angle into the step. That's better. Still a little too much rotation, but better angle, yeah. Nope, you didn't remember, feel the difference between that one and the one before. Drive the hips, let's go. Big drive, short dip. Dip and punch, much better. Feel the difference? That's what you gotta do in your throw, right? You gotta drive, the power comes from the lower body. There you go, longer step, longer. Lean it forward, lean it forward, bigger step, bigger step. Chest up a touch. That's it. 